Many gathered outside the middle school and high school for Light Up the Night. During the 300th anniversary celebration weekend, the night featured food trucks, live bands, games for the kids, Hopkinton trivia. Question, where is he from? Who is the town of Hopkin Hopkinton named after? Just come on up here and yell at my face. Edward Hopkins is right! As well as the photo project, in which people wrote personal messages or Hopkinton related messages on their body to be compiled into a 300 image and donated to the town for display for all community members to enjoy. It's really starting to fill in at this point in the night here. In back of you, you've got 500 people waiting in line for food at the food court, and we got another, another probably a couple thousand down, now down the football field. Uh, the band's been great. Everyone seems to be having a real good time. Uh, we've, had, uh, we've had all kinds of, of fun events so far today, and it's only going to get better here in another 90 minutes when we get the fireworks started after the Metro West Symphony Orchestra. Um, but you're right. I mean, this has been four hours of great fun, backed up by five years of hard work to get here. And what's amazing about this, and I think most people don't know, is that there's been two groups now working on this uh, almost for five years. Uh, we started a 300th committee uh, run by Jean Birchman about three, four years ago now, actually, and she's been working on this since before that. And then there's also a group called the Friends of the 300, that's a private net group that came together uh, almost five years ago, and they are the ones who put together the parade for tomorrow. So this weekend is the culmination of thousands of hours of work, by hundreds of hours of volunteers just to get here. Um, and now we've, we've still got hundreds of people walking around in orange shirts who are helping everything run efficiently, who are taking pictures in the photo booth downstairs, who are helping the bands get set up, um, just walking around and sort of helping people with things. So this is just a phenomenal community-wide event uh, that has really been the product of literally hundreds if not thousands of people to get to this point. And couldn't be prouder. What a great way to celebrate our 300th birthday. You know, it's a wonderful night out to celebrate with community and it's really important to do that. Um, 300 years is such a long time and when you think about what's happened in the last 300 years the amount of change the amount of change not only here in this community but in our country and the role that residents right here in Hopkinton have played in that is, is something certainly worth celebrating. The night ended with the Metro West Symphony Orchestra followed by an unbelievable firework display. look at the tremendous firework finale that topped off a night that will not soon be forgotten in Hopkinton.